So, who's your friend? This is my friend. Meow. Okay, good to know. Your friend. Ben. Ben. Meow. You do know he's a cat, right? Not just any cat. He's royal. Okay, this is my fault. I shouldn't have asked. Ben says that in ancient Egypt they used to worship cats, and even though I don't think we're in Egypt, that makes him royal. What else has Ben told you about ancient Egypt? Nothing. <laughs> Meow. But you can tell us. Ooh, ooh, tell us about ancient Egypt. I already told Ben that you tell the best stories, like the one about the vacuum and the moon. <sighs> I, well... Okay then. Yay! Meow! It's just hard to know where to begin because ancient Egypt is so, well, ancient. But let's try going back to 7,500 BC. BC? Before calendars. Wow. So a really long time ago, humans first arrived at the Nile, which is a river in Egypt. It's a good place to be because they can use the river water for washing and making food grow or whatever it is humans do with water. I like to drink some of it and then get the rest on the floor. Well, that's the best place for it. But instead, humans built farms and then civilization around it. They used the mud to make pots and the water to grow wheat and cows. And after a couple of thousand years, they figured out how to make boats with sails, so then they could use the same Nile to move their pots and wheats and cows about. Well, but if this was so long ago, how does anyone even know about it? Because of all the doodles. Doodles? Yeah, loads of them. The ancient Egyptians loved to doodle on walls and bits of rock. And some of the doodles were pictures of stories about giant birdmen who told the humans what to do. But some of the doodles were hypergriffins. And hypergriffins are doodles that are secretly letters in disguise. So over thousands of years, newer humans found them and were like, oh, I see what you did there. This picture of a bird next to a sunset is actually the word cat. And there must have been loads of pictures of birds and sunsets because humans figured out that Egyptians really loved their cats. Like Ben. Like Ben. Meow. Some of the doodles were just doodles, though. But they still told new humans a lot about how ancient Egyptians lived, but also of their heroes and kings and gods. Gods? Oh yeah, they had loads of gods. Gods like Sun, Croco Man, Royal Hawk, Damp Lion, Green, Frog Nurse, and Anubis. Wow. So the gods told the humans what to do. Sort of, but the humans were also led by the pharaohs. What's a pharaoh? So, because the ancient Egyptian civilization lasted so long, over 3,000 years, there were hundreds of rulers over thousands of years. The first is considered to be Nama. There were kings before him, but Nama became the founding ruler of the first dynasty of Egypt. That was around 3,100 BC. And then in 51 BC came the Queen Cleopatra VII. She was one of the last rulers of Egypt. And we know all this because of the doodles. Well, the doodles and the triangles. Triangles! Yeah, big, big triangles made out of stone. The Egyptians built them as tombs for the pharaohs, and they built them so well that they lasted all this time and are mostly still around today. And new humans who decided not to mind their own business even got inside the triangles and found the tombs. That's quite creepy. Yeah, it was. But not all of the tombs were in the triangles. In 1922, one of the most famous tombs was found underground in the Valley of the Kings, and it belonged to the pharaoh Tutankhamun, who became pharaoh when he was only eight years old. Like some kind of boy king? I guess. Wow. Meow. So what happened? What do you mean? Well, they kept going for so long, longer than anyone, and managed to do big and amazing things like making triangles and writing with pictures. So where did they go? Well, I mean, Egypt is still there. Humans are still there. But ancient Egypt as we know came to an end in 30 BC after Cleopatra and Mark Antony were defeated in battle by the Roman Emperor Augustus. After that, Egypt was part of the Roman Empire, and their millennia of traditions started to fade to memory. Oh, that's quite sad. Sad meow. Yeah, some of it's sad. But not all the ancient traditions were good ones. But then neither were some of the Roman ones. Maybe we'll talk about Rome another day. That'll be nice. Did the Romans also have cat royalty like Ben? I don't know if Ben is royal. The Egyptians had cat gods and cat guardians. But I think Ben is just a cat. <gasps> That is no way to speak to your king. Okay, you're right. Sorry, your majesty. Oh, that's okay. I'm not actually a king. See, I told what? I am Sekhmet, daughter of Ra, goddess and guardian of the sun. All hail Sekhmet. All hail Sekhmet. You know what? Again, this is my fault for asking. This one's on me. 